Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna throw it way back. I asked you guys what you were interested in seeing and I read the comments, the many, many comments that were asking for me to bring back Hot or Not. And so here we are. I am gonna get to a specific product, all the shades, we're going in, we're gonna swatch. I am, um, I was gonna say I'm very chesty today, but I am very intentionally blank canvas here because you guys know how I do. I like to swatch up the body. We're gonna try the new shades on and talk about it all and just have a very focused video about one product. We'll see how this goes. Do you guys remember when? Flashback to me literally every single Thursday just talking at random about a new launch. Like literally I would make videos just about one mascara or one new lip launch or a lip liner. It was always a singular launch, maybe sometimes a collection, like a new end cap collection at most. But nowadays I feel like every single video is just like 20 product madness. And it's nice to just focus on the application, the juiciness, smoothness, quality of one item and just like take our time with it. So I am really excited. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh, love this one right here so much. If you guys watched my I tried 5,000 eyeshadow palettes in one month video where I rank them, literally it's like 20, um, but I rank them, swatch them, that was a night to remember. My poor arms were just like, they had it with me taking shadow off and putting it back on, but I swatched them all. We talked about them all. And this particular $6 palette from Catrice was high on the list. These are so velvety and so smooth. They wear a long time. This is not sponsored. They are paraben free, alcohol free. They're also microplastic particle free. That is a call out on Amazon that I just spotted. The formula itself is what gets me. How you feel wearing this, how it applies, how it looks, that is what I'm about. And this definitely gets it done, performs, hits that high note, and I'm really excited about it. So let's go on in and just kind of swatch just a tiny little bit. I have blank eyes as well, because I think what I wanna put on is the rose palette, the electric rose, and then we'll talk, you know, I wanna see how the other palettes perform. We have the hot mocha eyeshadow palette. Maybe I'll use a brown or two. We might kind of dip into both. And then I'll also show you guys a look from the Dusty Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know that I would have named an eyeshadow palette Dusty. That's just me. Maybe we lose a star for the name because maybe I'm feeling sassy at the moment. I don't know. Dusty seems like not what you want your eyeshadow palette to be. You know what I'm saying? Like dusty, crusty, musty, disgusty. So that's my least favorite of the bunch and the one that I am least excited to try. Oh, I'm back on the caffeine. I'm brewing my own yerba mate at home, which is a money saver. It is also a mistake because I have increased the potency of my yerba mate, my beloved yerba mate. I'm also putting a little bit of honey in it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, let's get into it. We're gonna swatch this arm with the electric rose. Oh my gosh, let's see if we can make this video not 20,000 years long. I don't know, you guys seem to like it. Your comments in my worst month ever let me just vent video. Literally, ooh, that's not swatching too good. It might just be because I have body makeup on. Your comments in that video made my life. It made the entire 30 days of misery somehow worth it. I just felt so supported. And you guys are like, make long content. We love to hear you talk. And I'm like, well, I can deliver that. No problem. I do love to talk way too much. My poor husband, you know, like I, you, I cannot shut up. I can't shut up. I talk about anything. There is this like meme going around. I want to say not unsolved mysteries. Gosh, what is the... What show is it? It's like some kind of, I'm just gonna pull it up. Me, a thousand percent, welcome to my life. To make you spend a night in a cemetery. 
You display this as a trophy? Do you have a pet? Do you have a sweet tooth? Do you believe in the power of a curse? Have you had your hearing tested lately? Planning a trip soon? Can you remember the tallest man you've ever seen? Do you love to go a-wandering beneath the clear blue sky? Yep, James and I were laughing at that. He's like, yeah, uh, that is you. I... Outside of loving to talk about makeup and storytell, I actually love talking about life mysteries and just random facts. And I'm kind of known for that. And I think over the past year, I have allowed that to collide maybe a little bit too much with a makeup channel, but thank you guys so much for supporting my weirdness and letting me know that um, basically it's encouraged and you guys are fine with the length of time of my videos, even though I'm gonna try and reel it in. I'm trying. What color do I choose? Uh, I don't know yet. We're gonna do the hot mocha eyeshadow palette. That sounds good right now. I could go for a hot mocha, even though I just drank entirely way too much tea. Okay, we're gonna go kind of on the chest here. Ooh. Spicy mocha, that's pretty, loving it. Probably should have used a clean finger there. You guys, these are just like velvety. Oh my, like no pressure. This is like a very pretty color down here. Yeah, oh my gosh, that is like so flattering. This is one of those colors, I am telling you, that would be flattering for every eye color. I kinda wanna put that on, but I kinda wanna do the rose, I don't know. We're doing a little swatch-a-thon right, oh, that is so good. Okay, so far the mocha one, honestly, is like getting me. Okay, let's go into the dusty matte. I just don't know how much I love the shades in here is more how I'm feeling. They are, you can see, very pigmented, very smooth. I'm not sure that I would be satisfied with no shimmer because the shimmers are like the specialty of these palettes. So let's look at a nice arm swatch of the Dusty Matte. And we're gonna move right on into shadow application because my eyes are just like needing it. And I think I am gonna use both the Mocha and the Electric Rose. I'm gonna use a Sigma Diffused Blend and I am gonna go in first with this guy up here, this kind of dusty rose. These are dusty though, that's the funny thing. The mattes are on the dusty side. I love the metallics way more than I love the mattes out of these palettes, but they are very smooth. They blend really well, they wear really well. They're not like that stiff matte that is patchy and weird. So as long as you give a good you know, tap off, you're good. I'm gonna try and lean in a little bit also. The skin today, can we talk about this? I am like amazed with my highlight foundation. I'm having tunnel vision for drugstore makeup right now. I am gonna be doing a video. I think I'm gonna title it like no more gatekeeping or something because a lot of what is on my face, which I'm gonna make you guys wait and stay tuned. You know, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm gonna film it tomorrow, post it soon. I am using products that I hadn't used in a very long time and they performed. Like they performed. And I'm like, why am I even trying new things? Like this, this is like, oof, the skin looks good. Let's get some color in the crease. We're gonna try to collectively ignore the fact that I somehow have an under my eyebrow breakout. I'm gonna ask that no one leave any comments about it. Oh my gosh. The timing, I'm like, I wanna do an eyeshadow tutorial and it's like, Aww. you know. It's not that bad until at nighttime I break out like the 10X magnifying mirror and I'm just like, goodness. Do you see what I'm saying with like how smooth that is? You can be a makeup beginner and these mattes are going to go on like perfection. Beautiful, so easy, I like it. Hot, I am gonna go into the darker brown and just 
tap, 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 tap. I'm not going on the side of the brush. I find that this is something that needs to be reiterated when it comes to doing your makeup. Where you actually lay into the shadow does matter. And also the pressure. You don't wanna be like, and like aggressively swirl it in there. If you're needing that for a particular step, do it. But if you want something to layer up and blend evenly and beautifully, you wanna have more control, resist the urge to just plow in, especially with darker colors. So I'm just getting just, ooh, this video is so old school, I'm doing the hand. We're just getting the tip of the brush. I am just gonna hit the outer corner. Again, most people have an easier time with this. I have a bone right here that juts out that I'm not a fan of, it, but my eye shape kind of goes down a little bit. So I struggle with this area. Most people don't, but you'll see also, I'm taking the tip of that brush and I'm wedging it right into the crease there. I'm not laying it flat just yet. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle back and forth. Cool, because I want to leave a lot of this open for the metallic. I'm almost going stamp, 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 and then blending to get that initial load of color right where I want it. Stamp, 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 and then back and forth, back and forth. I'm not going too far in here. And then usually at the end, it's funny, like this is turning very tutorial, but I'm kind of liking it. So we're gonna go there. But when you wanna be detailed with how you're defining a crease, how you're laying down color, there is a sequence of motion. So we got the color on the tip of the brush, tilting back, finding that crease, that outer crease that you wanna emphasize to kind of make the drama on the outer edge is typically very flattering for most eye shapes. It just widens everything, gives a really beautiful look to the eye. So what I do is then stamp, 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 back and forth windshield, not going all the way in. And then you'll notice I start doing little circles just on that outer edge. And I'm kind of, you can't feel what I'm feeling, but I kind of let go of my grip a little bit. So I'm not as firm with the pressure. These are the little techniques that as you play with your makeup and you try them out, can really help you to get that perfect blend. It takes some time. There's no three minute magic. You know, you watch a TikTok or you watch something on IG and you think, wow, that took no time at all. But for a makeup artist, even doing concealer, you're gonna really be blending, 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 pouncing, blending, doing different pressures, doing different techniques. And that's how this makeup ends up being like so perfect. It takes time. Now, do we need to do that every day? Absolutely not, absolutely not. But when you're in the mood to play, try different techniques out. Why not? Okay, we're gonna go in with the star of the show. We're gonna go in with this rose right here. Start in the center and kind of almost pull my fingertip down. For this look, I don't want the metallic to get up into the crease and I'm not getting in this inner corner just yet. If you need to redefine the crease, typically I don't dip back in. I just take the excess and do a little of this. I don't want this to be too dramatic cut crease. Like I'm not gonna overdefine things. So I'm actually okay with the amount of depth on the outer corner. I am gonna take this brighter shade right here and a pencil brush. This is the What's Up Beauty R107. For this particular move, we're gonna get that powder packed on the side of the brush. Instead of going in straight, I am getting it on the side because I know how I wanna lay this down. I'm pressing right here. That is freaking gorgeous. All right, rapid fire for Catrice. Let's do like a uh, hot or not plus. So I'm gonna give you my other rapid fire favorites from Catrice at the moment. Still obsessing over the lip jams from Catrice. And if you're just looking at their website and you're like, what's good, what's not? I would say the other top product from Catrice, I'll link a video below, is this guy right here, the True Skin. It is seriously one of the best drugstore foundations of all time. 
Okay, I am gonna go underneath the brow with a little bit of this matte cream shade, maybe take a little hit of the pink matte next door, and we're just gonna go up here. I'm gonna do a little liner lashes and I'll be right back. Not drugstore, Janessa Myricks is getting it done. Update, update time, it is update time. I told you guys I was gonna let you know how the falsies sees Surreal from Maybelline wore, and let me tell you, A++++, with one exception, it is a pain to take off. Oh, like, do I wanna use it again? Yes, yes I do, but you need straight of balm and oil and maybe a water cleanse and a prayer to get this stuff off. It's very long wearing. It is not waterproof. Like I'm making sure, I'm like, did I get the waterproof one? I cannot even imagine what the waterproof version <laughs> would be like because this stuff is crazy. Let's go in again. Dang, dang, dang. The lashes look fluttery and good. We need a little more today We're because we're really going for it. We're gonna go into the Ardell Naked Lashes in 424. I am finally starting to feel a little more myself. You guys know oh, it's been a month and whenever you are feeling sick, whether you have allergies or a cold or whatever, you just don't feel cute. Like I felt puffy and like when I wake up in the morning, I'm like dark circles and I feel like the cloud is like, ugh. Like it's lifting, it's still, it's still a little, the salivary gland thing is still there. Has anyone else had this? My doctor's like, it can take a month to go away. And I'm like, what can I do to speed this up? Will this ever permanently go away? Or am I stuck with this? Ruining my jawline forever. You know, like, oh my goodness. Okay, let's get back to the makeup. This palette right here, the Electric Rose, this has definitely impressed me. I love how the matte blended. Um, What I wanna do now is take a little bit of this. Ugh, what do I wanna do? Actually, I'm gonna go into the Mocha eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take this brown, which is just a little teeny tiny bit lighter. And I'm going to put this on the bottom lash and just pray for the best. I normally don't love doing my lower lash, but I just feel like this needs something. Again, I'm just getting the tip. So pretty. I just am impressed through and through. Okay, now we're gonna go in just because I wanna see what this color looks like on. I feel like this is gonna be one of the most flattering shades ever. This is also from the Mocha palette. I'm gonna swirl off any excess and then I'm gonna kind of roll this pencil brush and get the side all good and saturated. See, and now I'm gonna go in right here. Ooh, you guys see that? Oh my. Beautiful. That is a really, really pretty shade. Just kind of put this a little on top here just for fun. I love it so much. Mascara for the lower lashes, cannot forget about that. Especially with this formula that does not move. If you need a budge proof lengthening, wisping mascara, this one is good. And there we have it. I am incredibly pleased with how this all applied. And I kind of knew going in because it's $6, it's Catrice. I already love the nude palette so much and I was really excited to swatch, test, and try these out for you guys. If you want more hot or nots, just focused, 
hot or not products. Let me know which ones you want me to put to the test, new launches. They don't have to just be drugstore, it can be anything. And I'm kind of into doing that right now, so let me know. Highly recommend that you guys check this out if you are looking for a new eyeshadow palette that does not break the bank. And even if you had all of the stacks of cash, I would think, you would still be impressed because this measures up to high end. All right, before we go, I do wanna look at the Mocha palette. Let's look at those swatches. Gorgeous, beautiful, love that bottom shade all over the lid. Really brightening, is very flattering for all eye shades. The electric rose is so pretty and wearable and feels very neutral. And like anyone, a beginner or someone more advanced would have a good time using it. That matte rose really impressed me with how blendable it is. It did not patch up. It framed the eye beautifully with a nice pop of color without being too obnoxious. The Pure Nude is so nice. I have been using this for a couple months now and it is a go-to for a quick, smoky or basic neutral eye. I've gotten a ton of use out of this one. It is gorgeous. Then the Dusty Matte is actually quite nice. Um, the mattes do swatch really beautifully and I think any which one of these would be very satisfying depending on what colors you like and the finish you like. So there we have it, you guys. This is a hot product, five stars, confetti. It is so good. And what should I try next for another hot or not? It doesn't have to be drugstore. It could be more high end. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below. Other than that, Go and have a good one, you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.